Hey up everyone, welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be talking about the 2022 potential replacements of Brad Arthur as head coach of Parramatta. Brad Arthur is contracted with the Parramatta club until the end of 2022, but it's looking increasingly unlikely that he's going to be able to see out his contracts. The Parramatta board has said in the past that they back Brad Arthur 100% and they won't change the coach unless something drastic happens. But after a four-game losing streak and a 56 points to 10 loss against Manly today, I'd see that something pretty drastic and things need to change. And some people might be saying you might be being a bit drastic there, like, but over the last four to five years, it's been the same thing with Parramatta. They start the year great and then just over the halfway mark, going into the, the back end of the year towards the finals, the club just seems to lose direction and they just seem to capitulate. It happened in 2017, it happened in 2019, albeit the, the win over Brisbane in the finals. It happened in 2020 and it's happening again in 2021 and change needs to happen. And it has to happen this year, at the end of this year. So we're going to be look at, looking at some head coaches that could potentially replace Brad Arthur in 2022. And we're going to start with pretty much... The most obvious one on the list, it's Shane Flanagan, the former Kunule coach. Shane Flanagan has a very good record as a coach in terms of results. He got Kunule their first ever premiership. Every single year that he was at the club, the club pretty much made the finals and was a competitive side, very well drilled. But unfortunately, that's where things kind of end for Shane Flanagan, off the field and as he's known throughout many NRL circles and amongst fans he's a very unsavory character he has a very dodgy history and he's um, someone that is not really well liked amongst the NRL community as a, as a whole and he is allowed to coach at the start of 2022 that's when his ban ends that was handed by the NRL in terms of where people are at the moment in their coaching careers I think Shane Flanagan for most people would probably be the most obvious choice but the thing that kind of puts me off Shane Flanagan is what's happened in the past with the Asadi and the peptides and the whole getting banned thing and all that caper I can see if he ends up becoming the head coach of Parramatta that the same things that Kunula got tarnished with are going to happen with Parramatta. We're going to be co called peptides Parramatta or drug matter or something like that. And that's not something that I would like at the club. There's also the issue over sponsorships and uh, attracting people to the club. I listened to a podcast with Fago and the Freak and they were talking about Shane Flanagan. And he says when Shane Flanagan was the head coach of Kunula... Sponsors were very wary, they didn't want to get involved, certain players didn't want to go there because of what had happened and I can see if um, Shane Flanagan does end up at Parramatta that there, there might be certain sponsors and certain players that would not want to go there because of what's happened in the past and I think the club has to be very careful about that. It took Parramatta a really long time to re rebuild their reputation after certain events in the past, especially the last 10 years. And I think the last thing that the club needs is for the for themselves to be dragged back down into a position where the reputation might be tarnished. So even though Shane Flanagan might seem like a good option to some people, I think that's something that the, the Parramatta club should be wary of. The next coach that a lot of Parramatta fans in the media have talked about is Wayne Bennett. Wayne Bennett needs no introduction whatsoever. Everyone knows Wayne Bennett and his CV. But the thing with Wayne Bennett is that he's said that after South, he wants to return to Queensland, which is fair enough. But there's certain people out there that think that he might still be open to a coaching job somewhere else. And you have to look at Wayne Bennett's age. He's 71. And you're asking him to go to a club like Parramatta that are in a bit of a sticky situation at the moment and you're expecting him to be a miracle maker and on top of that 
how long would he be at the club? What's the point of having someone like Wayne Bennett if he's just going to be there for one to two year and then leave? And we know in the past that some clubs that he's been to, he hasn't left them in a good state after he's left. I see if Wayne Bennett was appointed the head coach of Parramatta, it would be like fixing a giant crack in the wall with Selly's putty or fixing a big leak in the bathroom with Selly's no gaps and going, right, that's it. We don't have to worry about that now. It's all sealed up and don't have to worry about it. So for me, with Wayne Bennett, if you asked me 10 years ago after he finished with St George, would you like him as the head coach of Parramatta? I would have said, how are you? You know, fucking get in there and sign him. But these days, with him being 71 and him expressing his desire to go back to Queensland, I think it would just be a, a short-term fix for Parramatta. And I don't think it's an appointment or a coach that Parramatta should be going after. All the names that have been suggested to take over in Parramatta in 2022 have been Paul Green, the former North Queensland coach. We all know that he took North Queensland to the 2015 Premiership and also a grand final in 2017. And more recently, he's the head coach of Queensland and he's expressed a desire to go back to the NRL. He says, look, I'm not finished. I've got unfinished business. Um, I'm not too sure if Paul Green would be the right fit for Parramatta. Um, I think after 2017 and with the retirement of Jonathan Thurston, I think his coaching methods and also the fact that with Jonathan Thurston retiring and players getting injured, I think it kind of exposed Paul Green as a bit of a... I don't know, a bit of an outdated coach. And then we've seen it this year with Queensland, how New South Wales have put some sort of record point scoring feats on them. So I'm not too sure if Paul Green's the right answer for Parramatta. And now we move on to the very unlikely succeeders to Brad Arthur at Parramatta. First, we have Steve Price, who was the former head coach of St George. And now he's the head coach of Warrington, but he's leaving at the end of this year. Uh, Steve Price didn't leave the NRL in a very good way. There's certain St George fans that still want to kill him. At Warrington, he did win a Challenge Cup. But with Steve Price, he, he's kind of a coach that he hasn't been able to get Warrington to the next level. And I'm not particularly a fan of Steve Price. I don't think that he would be the right fit for the job at Parramatta. Um, I'm still personally a bit angry at what he did with St George, so he's someone that I probably wouldn't want at the club. Then we move on to Jason Riles, who he was the assistant coach, or he was involved with the scum down there last year. This year he's involved as, I think, one of the assistants to Trent Robinson in Eastern Suburbs. I think to be a, a head coach at Parramatta, you have to have a bit more experience because... A club like Parramatta, there's so much pressure to win and there's so much pressure to do well. And I think throwing in a rookie head coach like that um, would not only be bad for Jason Riles, but I think it would also be bad for the Parramatta club. And I don't care if he's been head, um, assistant at the scum. It, it doesn't mean no difference to me. Then we go on to Cameron Serraldo. He was the uh, interim head coach at Penrith a couple of years ago and ever since then he's kind of been thereabouts as um, trying to get a head coach and job somewhere but I think once again just like the, the Jason Riles thing throw it in someone that is doesn't have that much experience I think would be a bad thing because at the moment Parramatta needs I think a proven winner as a head coach and they need someone that's experienced I think throwing in a rookie would be a very bad idea for both parties because there'd be so much pressure on that coach to perform. And we also have the one that's very far out left field, this one. This one's Jeff Tuve. Um, he hasn't done any head coaching in any capacity, well, in, in, the, in the men's game anyway, since I think 2016, 2017 with Bradford. Before that, he did all right at Manly, took him to a grand final in 2013. But I think with someone like Jeff Tuve, He's been out of the head coaching job for a few years and with the game changing and adapting, I think that he probably wouldn't be the right fit because if you look at back when he coached when the NRL is now, it's it's a totally different game, even though it was a couple of years ago. 
And just finally, there's one head coach out there that hasn't been mentioned, but he's off contract at the end of 2022 if Brad Arthur is kept on. And his name's Christian Wolf, and he's the head coach of St. Helens, my club in England. Um, he's done great work at St. Helens. Look, I know it's England and the Super League's not as good as the NRL, blah, blah, blah. We all know that. But he's on the cusp of making it a three-peat with St. Helens. He's won the Challenge Cup. Um, he has a bit of coaching experience in the NRL as well. He was interim head coach of Newcastle. He, he's someone that Parramatta should consider as the head coach role for 2022. And we have seen in the past that you do get some head coaches that they don't start in the NRL. They start in the Super League. They do their apprenticeship there. They, they win things there and then they come to the NRL. We saw that with Justin Holbrook. I know that he hasn't exactly set the world on fire in the NRL with the Gold Coast, but they're certainly not um, easy beats or wooden spooners like they were when he first took over. So it's, it's something that Parramatta should definitely have a look at. So that was my video on the potential coaches that could take over Brad Arthur's head coach and role at Parramatta in 2022. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below. Maybe let me know who you think would be the next head coach of Parramatta, who, who you think would do a good job at the club. Let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, everyone, this is Rugby League History signing off. Tatty bye for now.